Westfield Hornets will have to replace about half of their defense when they start play this fall. Coach Ronnie Jones joins Bill Shanks again in the coach's corner to talk about some options they have as they try for a third straight state title. The Westfield Hornets allowed just 16.4 points per game last year in their state championship season. And, of course, the defense will be front and center once again. Ronnie Jones is our guest here in the coach's corner. Uh, you lost both of your leading tacklers. That's got to be a little scary. He is, and those are inside linebackers. And our defense is set up for our uh, linebackers to make the tackles. But mm -hmm. uh, we did lose those guys. And, as you know, it's just like a quarterback on offense. we got sure. we got to find those people. And uh, just like on offense, we got some people pushing and competing for those jobs. But uh, we do up front to turn return two people in Matt Moore and John Walker Moore, two big kids who were the center of our defense up front last year. And our whole secondary, uh, it really returns intact. So mm -hmm. we've got about five starters returning on defense. You know, as you look at Region 4, Triple A now, um, obviously with two state championships in your back pocket, I mean, teams are going to be kind of coming for you. Are, are your kids kind of in the mindset now that, hey, we are the champions, to use the phrase from the song, and we need to kind of act like it and be ready for those teams. They, they got to know they got to beat Westfield to kind of get to the top, don't they? It is, and I, you know, our kids can't help but feel good about themselves, sure. but uh, that is behind us, and that's the toughest thing for the coaches to try to get across in their heads that everybody is after us, and we've certainly lost some good players that have started for us for the last two years. And uh, But, uh, you know, our kids got a lot of pride, and that's our goal again is to get to Mercer and, mm -hmm. and try to win it again. It hadn't ever been to very many three-peats. No. And uh, that's our goal is try to get there again. Well, and so even with the questions, I mean, the expectations are that high that you feel like you've got the talent. And it's got to be good for you as a coach to know that program is at the point where, hey, we lose a lot of offensive linemen. We lose our two leading tacklers. We have people that can step right in and do, and do the job. Well, we've just had a good program. We've had a good, have good C teams. We've had good B teams. Our B team was undefeated last year and mm -hmm. uh, had a good year the year before. And so that's a lot of those players that will be playing up front for us. But uh, I have confidence in them. And we're not there right now. And we're going to be the type of team that's going to get better every week, I think. First game next Friday, August 21st, against Southland. Coach, thanks for coming in. Good luck to you this year again. Well, thank you.